In this repair video, we're going to be working on a Manly GeForce RTX 3090. It came in for no detect, and customer wrote that he attempted to replace the thermal paste with liquid metal, and after doing so, the graphics card stopped working. Could you help me? Thanks in advance. Right, so we can tell that the customer applied liquid metal right here. And you have to be very careful when applying liquid metal because if liquid metal spilled, it's going to short circuit. And that's probably what happened with this card. I hope it's something that we can fix. I mean, right off the bat, I do see signs of liquid metal outside the GPU chip. Look at this. We do not know where liquid metal spilled. Let me start from the far right. And we're going to take it one step at a time. We'll do a quick physical inspection like we always do. Any video card we work on, we do a full physical inspection. And that's what we're going to do here. We're not going to do any measurements right now, just physical inspection. If we do not find any liquid metal anywhere on the board, then we will start measuring voltages and take it from there. We can start by cleaning this area. We have some right over here and you can see how liquid metal can spread easily. It can easily create a short circuit. I advise against using liquid metal unless you've done it before. How much better is liquid metal? You have a good working 3090. If it's not broken, do not fix it. Right now, I do not know if we have... Yeah, look at this. Oh, boy. We're going to have to do a lot of cleaning here. And I'm using those lint-free swabs. Is this liquid metal here? Yeah. And that's a very tight area here, so... We're going to use a combination of the brush and the swab. We should be okay here. You see how liquid metal shorts out components? Look at this. Liquid metal is shorting out this with this with this with this. Let me try to use just a regular swab and see what happens. Same story, it doesn't come off easy. It's a tedious process, but somebody has to do it. And hopefully after that work, we're gonna be able to turn that video card on. Hopefully liquid metal is the only thing that is wrong on this board. Today calls are crazy. It's Monday, July 5th, and calls are absolutely crazy. We're not taking any calls in today. I just want to work in peace. We have more liquid metal right here. Look at this.
what if I use my soldering iron? Can we actually use some flux and soldering iron to take this off the board? And maybe some flux. Let's see. As long as we do not have liquid metal under the IC where it's bridging solder balls, then we should be okay. Let me try to apply hot air and see what happens. That's a tedious process to clean liquid metal from around components. That's one tedious process. Look at this. We got that liquid metal back out. Great. So hot air did the trick. doesn't come off if you have an easier way to remove liquid metal let me know leave it down in the comments okay let's continue just be super careful if you decided that you want to use liquid metal because you can create serious damage. Right now we do not know if there's a short of any type that caused damage to that board. And let's continue with physical inspection. Let's continue with the inspection. And I see a burned chip right over here. And that burn chip is probably due to a short that happened on the board because of liquid metal. I mean, I think that's it. That's the only liquid metal that I see on the board. We cleaned it off. But of course, the video card is not going to power on because of the burn chip. I need to look up this chip and see what it does. GS9216 That's a step down converter Right now it's obvious that we have a problem with the step down controller and That's actually one of the reasons why I hate working on video cards parts are not readily available A lot of times I have to order those parts from China and wait two or three weeks right now I do not know if we can order that part from the US or if we have to order that part from China I do not have any donor boards that I can extract that part from but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the card on the side order that part and we will do part two on this video card to see if replacing that chip will solve the problem we do not know if liquid metal made its way through any of the RAM chips any of the BGA chips but I really went over this board thoroughly and I do not think that we have any more liquid metal shorting out anywhere on the board so I think there's a very good chance that we can fix this card if we replace that chip I will go over that board one more time when we get the chip but from now until then we're gonna have to order the chip and I will do a part two on this video so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next video